everybody, look at this. It's that boy who laughs at everyone. Let's laugh at him. <laughs> Wave to the people. Blow them kisses. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast, The PCP, an internet show with internet boys on an internet sphere just being themselves, creating things, and loving life. I'm the best guy ever, and today we're joined by Hypocrite. I'm embarrassed to be here. Hmm, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Munchie wears tiny hats. I'm so, so sorry. Tom Oliver? <laughs> I... I got nothing. Just go. That, how embarrassing. And Ben Saint. <laughs> ah. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Big Saint <laughs> famed for making the the PCP late today. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The famed for uh, his uh, performance uh, of, of that excellent uh, live action play. Yeah, I'm not the first, but I'll definitely be the last. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben Saint Let's with his embarrassing so. track record of, of yeah, making indeed, the PCP indeed. late. Everything Deeply. that just happened was really embarrassing, and I want to die. <laughs> 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 well, uh, a great way to start us off, and let's check in, because the folks at home don't know what the fuck we're talking about. They don't even know the definition of the word embarrassment. They've never so, heard uh, that. They've never heard this in their lives. Uh, I know that embarrassada in Spanish means pregnant. So let's just go with that. It's That'll be our working definition here. Wow. Empre. <laughs> Empre, yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, right. Uh, Urban Dictionary, though, says embarrassment is the way people feel when they realize they've been spelling embarrassed wrong their whole lives. <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell it? Put oh. it on screen. Actually, you spell don't. it with two R's and two S's and two T's. And two uh, E's uh, right. and two I's. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, actually, and, um, it does and say... Two, he... And two feet and two uh, hands. Wait a minute. He felt embarrassment that he had been spelling embarrassed with only one R. Obviously, he left an in extremely interesting life. Wait, but embarrassment only has one R. What? Uh-oh. Like, on the screen uh -oh. before me, be I'm looking at it. What the fuck? Oh, God. We're, oh, we're God, this is a nightmare. We're down a rabbit hole already. No, it has two R's, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm Nate, looking at it Nate on just, Urban Dictionary Nate, as one. Nate just misspelled it and got the wrong definition here. I'm going to save the no, fucking no, day. No, no, look at this. And save this. the podcast for you. Okay, seriously, I don't know. Edit this in or something. I think this should be there. Look at the thing here. Er that has one fucking R, even though in the example, it has two. Wait. The hashtag embarrassment has two R's, but the the, the, the example there has Nate, one, and the top thing has one. Top definition. You spelt it wrong. Top definition. And that's em what it comes up for, because you spelled it wrong. Oh. Embarrassment. Oh, An extremely no. sucky feeling that happens to adolescents much too often, where your cheeks get all red, red like links to a new page, and you just, mm -hmm. just links to a new page, want to curl up under a dark <laughs> bed links to a new page for all of eternity and slash or die in a hole. Oh no, I get it. It gave me the shitty definition because I spelled it wrong. Yep. That's, that's extremely what embarrassing for you. Oh, oh god. That's well, great. That's pretty. That's well. pretty. Uh, that's pretty. Uh, web 2.0. That's pretty advanced <laughs> storytelling. Yeah. The, 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 uh, these definitions have a real narrative arc to them. They really do. They really do. What are we gonna do when the bot when the dot com bubble bursts and Urban Dictionary goes under and gets bought out by Al Gore and, and Hillary Clinton's you know harpies? What, what, what are we gonna do? Where are we gonna get our top definitions from well every, the currency of the world is going to shift to the dot com bubble when yeah. everyone's just going to trade porn all the time and that's yeah. going to be the, the, the most lucrative to the, to shift to the dogecoin the most premier <laughs> yeah, cryptocurrency right. on, on the face of the planet <laughs> the only let's, altcoin that matters the dogecoin let's get into the fucking episode please yeah, yeah please. Let's, uh, please let's talk about embarrassment guys Are we we embarrassing uh everything is humiliating and disgraceful yeah. what even is I, embarrassment i don't know uh, I'm, it's the worst i'm going to personally destroy this topic and shift it hmm. not only to be embarrassment but shame because I think that's incredibly uh, interesting. They are definitely related. Yeah, they're the, they're the sure. same thing in my mind. And, mm -hmm. and uh, to start this, start this episode off with a roaring start, a, a, a complete psychological thriller, I'm going to reveal a, 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 a Homestuck-esque tier uh, plot twist 
a reveal <laughs> here. It may in fact uh-huh. rattle your cerebellum to discover ardent PCP <laughs> fans, but I was not always through a uh, pellucid kosher display of uh, uh, unadulterated esteem and respectable behavior you see towering before you today. Oh, in, no. in my young informative <laughs> years, aka yesterday, I was actually an extremely easily embarrassed a- anxiety uh, suckling. How did I make such a vivid transformation? I'm just going to wait for my armor tree uh, uh, ask it embarrassingly genuine long speech at the end or halfway through this episode, and, and then you'll know. <laughs> uh, very exciting. Mm-hmm. So there was a definitive moment for you when you no longer cared about anything? <laughs> Is that what happened? Basically, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> what, what, good. All right, well, okay, go. I said a thing. I thought, please, uh, yeah, I thought you were going to do a whole th- uh, Okay, uh, 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 Gib, what does it mean to you to be the embarrass? Uh, I mean, it it feels like you you wanna you wanna go away from people, and you you're like, oh, I sure mm-hmm. wish I didn't do that. I mean, what do you want me to say? Like, I like, want you to tell me I, why I, 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 uh, you are shame boy. <laughs> well, I'm always a bit embarrassed. I think I I, I kind of like it. In fact, I think I'm <laughs> Stockholm syndrome to to embarrassment. If I'm not embarrassed, it seems I'm not trying you know hard enough to try too hard. Like if if I'm not embarrassed about mm. how hard I'm trying, then something's wrong. You know, I should never be comfortable in my skin. Gib, how does it feel for us to be embarrassed by you? How, how does that feel <laughs> on your shoulders? Uh, correct and appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We're not doing any specifics here. Somebody's got to have a specific a humiliating story. That's the juice. No, of are, 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 is, is that where we're taking this? Humiliating it, it, stories? Eventually. E- eventually. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, but, okay, in the meantime, uh, t- Tom... What do you think about this? You seem like a deeply shameful boy. Uh, yeah, what do you What I, do you think about I'm this? I'm fucking horribly disgusting. No, um, I mean, <laughs> well, Munchie brought up the the, uh, the point of shame, and I think shame does play a huge part in the embarrassment kind of uh, role of everything. I think embarrassment is something you feel yourself, and then shame is something society kind of projects. Like shame is the the social uh, focused aiming of embarrassment. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that is, but I'm embarrassed that it's happening. Yeah. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh, oh, God. You should oh. feel ashamed. Oh. We can just oh. do that the whole time. Every time you flub or anyone flubs anything <laughs> oh, no. in this whole podcast, like, oh, how embarrassing. Oh. Ha-ha, it's the title. That... It, maybe if you should stop, stop oh, trading on, dough coin. I got to trade <laughs> my dough coin. This, this fucking, yeah. this fucking Bitcoin bubble is about that, to that's burst. That's like, let you know more. that Dogecoin is going up. It's surging Munch, right now. Munchie's over there mining Dogecoin with that thing right now. Right now. He's he mining just, he Dogecoin just, to trade for me. He just mined a new block, and, and, and all the dogs just spur, burst forth into his room, and he has to go take <laughs> care of them now. Dude, his it's house just like is an, Minecraft. He left, but he didn't mute himself. Like, <laughs> no, really? it's all just right, like right. an oh, it's just like Undertale with the dogs. Excellent. All right, shut up, shut okay. up right now. Um, <laughs> I have, I have a tangential story about uh, coins and bitcoins and cryptocurrencies okay. and embarrassment. <laughs> oh, perfect. Um, Bitcoin, obviously, uh, it had a big old boom. Everyone was like, "Oh my god, Bitcoin! I'm a fucking millionaire!" And I was mm-hmm. like, "Can you?" Can you trade that back for money? Because if you can, that's cool. And somebody said yes. So I was like, okay, I'll get a bit. And then I went on to a thing, and I got a, an account, and I bought mm-hmm. a 0.01% of one Bitcoin, which is nice. still like, you know, like 45 pounds or something. Yep. And um, I was thinking, all right, I'll come back, and maybe this will be 50 pounds, and I'll just cash it in, and it'll be a be nice little, little thing I did. Mm-hmm. Um immediately from that point and i haven't checked but it's been i've checked like a couple times it has done nothing but go down since then <laughs> like I when, have, when was this it's got it's it's it, the last few weeks or months weeks, right yeah. guys it was just, well, it was up at a certain point and it has just gone down since then it may go I, back up but i'm I just think it'll go it's back very up, embarrassing actually. that i bought it at the very the reason the, the peak. reason it's gone down the last couple weeks is because there was like some legislation in china and south korea about trading and mining which mm. they're like the two biggest places respectively for trading and mining so it's been kind of like really fluctuating the last couple weeks but once they've got rich bitcoin <clears> reserves <throat> under china's soil and yeah. you got to well, you got to get down I just there. Thought south, it was south I thought korea it was, just said that they're they're actually not banning the uh banning trading in their in south korea so it probably should stabilize okay. relatively okay. soon so so hold on to it okay I, well i'm not gonna get rid of it until it has more money than i put in yeah 
So yeah, I might my, keep it my embarrassing forever. story with Bitcoin. Actually, I do have an embarrassing story with Bitcoin. Is that I was really into like getting into cryptocurrency back when there was only Bitcoin and Litecoin. That was pretty much the only mm-hmm. altcoin in circulation. And Bitcoin was worth about four hundred and eighty-three dollars for one Bitcoin. And I was interested in getting some Bitcoin, but at the time, I naively was not aware that you could purchase fractions of a Bitcoin. Uh, uh, right. I, want, I had I had like a hundred dollars. But I was I thought you had to buy one whole Bitcoin. So I like I don't have five hundred dollars to buy a Bitcoin with, so I didn't. And if I had just spent that hundred dollars, if I had done the research, I would have thousands of dollars right now in because it it's multiplied by what, like 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 four hundred times yeah, in value. Like so mm-hmm. I could have gotten like four thousand dollars from my hundred dollar investment if I had just done a little bit more research. So that's really <clears throat> embarrassing. Kinda hate I- myself. Guys, I this leave. is important. Wait, Munchie, Ben was going to say something. I, ju- I just have thing. to I just have to let you all know that I'm on coinmarketcap.com right now and Dogecoin is actually skyrocketing. Oh yeah. hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dogecoin yeah, is like that. fucking peaking. Yeah, if you were in the call the whole time, you'd have known that Dogecoin passed 2 billion in market worth uh like the entire market of Dogecoin is worth like 2 billion dollars uh, a couple days it's- ago. Yeah, it's like it's like doubly embarrassing for me. Like, not only did the one I pick immediately go down, but it was the wrong mm. one that I picked. Did you, you know, get just, Bitcoin just, Cash instead of Bitcoin whatever the I don't know, is. fucking anything. Yep. <laughs> just of relevance, I just want to point out again that my friend Colin did in fact run a marathon, his first marathon wearing a Dogecoin onesie. Just, you know, <laughs> just, just putting that out there. It's what a fact. A, it's a fact. Dogecoins, as of like, as of this time last year, Dogecoins were worth like one one five hundredth of a cent. They're now worth a whopping <laughs> like 1.2 cents. Not bad. That's Not yeah. bad. Huge. Almost as much as a lucrative PC penny. I, I, I leave for one second to be my parents and I come back and talk talking about World of Warcraft no, or some you went to, shit. Look, Munch, you went to fucking farm Dogecoin by beating the shit out of that dog and, and wring the currency from him. Yeah. He's just, when you, when you defeat a dog, he just spews yeah. experience yeah. points of Dogecoin. Uh, okay, this has nothing to do with the topic at yes, hand, though. The, I mean, this is very Dogecoin embarrassing, house. our lack of professionalism. Uh, uh, th- 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 this good. Is but save it for the for cryptocurrency me. episode, guys. Save it for the cryptocurrency Episode. Oh, it's, God, it's just sort no. of hard. It's it's sort of hard to just think of like an embarrassing because like embarrassing stories are things I blocked from my memory and I just sort of oh, I've got I, I know they exist. I just don't know. Well, like, I wanted I could to talk say about, off the top of my head. Oh yeah, I remember the time that I shat myself. <laughs> that's what I, that's what the people want. I, Tom, Tom, what were you saying? Well, I was gonna say we can talk about. I wanted to talk about like the concept of embarrassment, the concept yes. of shame. Is it is it this good? is weird? Is it bad? How Th- should you react to I it? I feel that's like you guys are. About. We've swapped. I feel like we've swapped roles for this episode because I always want to talk about the theory behind it and stuff. But now I want to talk about specific humiliating stories. You, you just no, want dirt I... on everybody in this call right now. Mm. I, know, I see how this is. <laughs> what's, no, because I've, I've got here. mine. I prepared mine before any of this. I I know exactly. Well, let me tell you about how humiliating and embarrassing a person I am. So when I, I was no no what? I, what? W- what what what's interesting about shame and embarrassment is that they're so integral to all of human culture that's ever existed. And so it's sure, interesting. Guys. I don't I don't care about whatever. Shame fucking... is how shame is how social boundaries are set. That's why that's the boundary between acceptable exactly. and unacceptable. And the, the way that I new things know come. What Nate says no one. I want to I want to see what's what dirt you have on we, you, we, and we, I want to hear it. We couldn't have the legendary Digibrony line on the fringe of acceptable and cringe without the concept of cringe. So you have to you you have shame to think of all of Digi's records. We can Incidentally, uh, talk fat about shaming both is good. Things. I'm fully in favor of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, we can do both, as I hope to do, and I will we, ring the. I like like Munchie goes to beat the bitcoins out yeah, of his dog. Yeah, yeah. I will beat the embarrassment coins out of all of you today. <laughs> uh, okay, let me. Let me just tell you this story real quick, and then we can get to whatever the fuck you guys want to talk about. Sure. Listen to how embarrassing a person I am. Okay, so when I was a kid, I thought it was the shit. I thought it was so cool and so rad that I decided to enter the, uh, it was like it was like the middle school, um, fuck, what was it called? Uh, uh, talent show, the talent show. Mm. And so I did, in fact, enter the talent show, and we, we practiced for like weeks, and it was real, crazy and stuff and i did a rendition of another one bites the dust by one queen by one queen i did this alone it was just me i choreographed all my own dance moves as they as they played 
Uh, just like the song with Freddie Mercury's vocals that I just like sang over it. Oh, oh no. And so I, I I mean, the, let's just say it went off without a fucking hitch. I I (laughs) nailed every pirouette, every backflip was, was, it was a 10 out of 10 performance. No, no, no question. (laughs) But after I finished it, like there, there are tapes of this performance out there in the world. And just now that time has passed, I just I live in fear. Just all my waking days are consumed with fear that this <laughs> this illicit videotape will surface one day, and and the world will see me just popping and locking uh, my life away. <laughs> you know, one step at a time. I'm, I'm officially opening a PCP bounty. Yeah, on exactly. Exactly. No! exactly. You gotta I, go on I, the hunt. I oh, will no. personally, unironically, give you 33% of my PCP wage the month you send me a video of Nate singing Another One Bites the Dust. Unironically, uh, 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 officially, that is true. Give that to wow. me and my it, ramp oil rope bombs. It's yours, my friend. <laughs> but only if you By have way, a video of Nate singing. I just want to let you know, everybody. So your expect your expectations are set correctly. Uh, I I I thought I'd be like the coolest kid in town. I bought a fedora. I bought I bought this sick ass bomber leather jacket that was way too big for me, but I wore it anyway. Holy shit! Just and no one at any point even suggested that what I was doing was a mistake in any way. That's which I, really the worst part because that's where shame yeah. is so important. Because I, exactly. when you push against those boundaries, other people can be like, yo. You're you're on the fringe, dude. You got to be careful. It was only years later, as everyone you know was aware that I had done this. They're like, "Man, what were you thinking, dude?" And I was like, "Well, I don't know. I guess I was thinking that that was okay. I didn't know that you guys would be this mean about it to me I, later yeah. on." I, I I actually have an incredibly similar story. I think I might have told yeah. before uh, about mm-hmm. uh, how I, I, I again in middle school at a talent show in sixth grade. I attended mm. a sixth grade camp where we just, you know, went up to uh, some woods near where I live, and we mm-hmm. camped out for like a week. Anyway, at the end, there was a talent show, and it, you know, you'd have rehearsals li- of the week leading up to it. And I enlisted mm-hmm. the talent show, did not know what I was going to do, basically just had that as an excuse to not do anything and just hang out <laughs> in the uh, center where people were doing things. I was kind of mm-hmm. fucked around. And then eventually, once it got closer, I just you know quit because I didn't have anything to do. And then, while the show was going on, halfway through, like, like, the, like the stage is such, everything is scheduled. I decided, you know what, I have something I want to do. So I just, like, walk up to the teacher and say, like, hey, can I be in the show? Like, it, it's going on. Half, it's it's almost over. And they're like, yeah, okay, sure. I don't care. Yeah. Hell so yeah. I, so I get up, and I do. I, I sing in, as a sixth grader in front of my entire school. I sing uh, the Portal 1 and 2 ending songs. This was a triumph. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Dear. This was a triumph, Munchie. A triumph. <laughs> yeah, literally. I do that, and the thing is, I, I I get off. I don't know how well I did because I forgot some of the words during it, and and, and, <laughs> and, and, and then I get off, and and then like when we're going back to our house, everyone is like cheering me and saying how good of a job that was and how much they love video games and how they, and how much they understood what I was referencing. And, and yeah. one, one guy told me the cake was a lie, and this was the Hell only yeah. time in my entire life I felt validated by the people around me in, in, in school. <laughs> and I was so happy that I did it. It was the best experience of my fucking life. I completely nailed those songs. Yeah. Well, that's wait, how I felt, too. I felt like I... I now felt everyone like knew I had, you loved video games. Yeah. The, I, the only thing too. I couldn't believe was that I didn't win first place. I yeah. was I was dumbfounded by the fact that <laughs> anyone could be chosen over my performance. But uh, I, I have such a, is life. I have a I have a, a story. I have a, a story that's kind of similar to that, Nate. Uh, mm. About mm. Uh, there was a play. There was like a school play that I was trying out for, and it was I don't remember what it's called, but it's some play mm-hmm. about the like it's like a court case about like a science teacher in the deep south who wants to. Teach yeah. evolution or something right i remember yeah and uh i thought that i would i thought i would try out for the like fire and brimstone preacher guy who like is like mm, prosecuting mm. The, the dude i thought that would be really cool so i uh, and his, his name is like you know mr mr black whatever mm-hmm. so i try try out for mr black and i go and I and, and, so I, and I and I'm like I'm like yeah I think I did pretty good and then a couple weeks later I, I I see the the results and I go and I'm like oh Ben got Mr Black 
yes, I fucking did it. But I show up to but I show up to the first rehearsal and I realize that what has actually happened is they've gender swapped the role of Mr. Black into Mrs. Black and I'm actually right. playing his his her her spouse. Oh, I'm playing that's the right. totally the totally like throwaway one line side character that's oh the spouse God. of the guy. And I'm like shit, so I just turn around and walked away and uh, never <laughs> came back. <laughs> That's 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 how you do it. That's that was a dick move, and they deserve that. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, <laughs> it was probably listed that that was the case, and you just did not realize. Yes. So it's yes, completely that's, no, on oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just didn't. I didn't look. I could have found out, but I didn't. Uh, but I just. I <laughs> wasn't gonna. It's I wasn't gonna fault. suffer that. I yeah. showed up expecting to be like a main character. Yeah. And yeah, I'm like, right. no, 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 no. I'm out. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. I, I would like Ugh. to ask you guys, do you feel more self-conscious or do you feel like you are shamed more? Which is more proportional? Do, do you do awkward or cringy things and think, oh God, I'm, I'm such a shitter, I'm such a bad guy, I'm such a villain, I'm such an antagonist? Or do you do bad things and you just don't realize and then people make fun of you for it? Which happens more to you guys? <laughs> it's, um, it's self-criticism a thousand million well, times more. Well, I don't I know say. because I, cause I don't know. Because if other people are just making fun of me behind my back, I don't know about it. Yeah, I guess that's also. I don't the have same. enough real life like interactions so, at this point. You don't have so enough I'm, real if I'm doing life something lore. bad. So, so it's I'm, all <laughs> it's all internal. Like there's so many things that I've done for so long that were embarrassing and I never knew, but I was too busy like contemplating other things like internally. Like oh god, is this art that I'm posting like really embarrassing? Oh god, it probably is not realizing that. Like, I'm acting and looking like a total Spurg Lord, and I don't know until well, Tom, it's too it, late. It's, it's not like you're the worst guy ever or anything. Um, you know, you know, not exactly. Not... <laughs> Maybe you want to give that a Google fair viewer. Yeah, Go to images you, you and really, see what you, really you get. You should. It's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe that. It's so <laughs> I know. Good. It's un- unreal. Unreal. Yeah, it's... Um, uh... That's probably the most embarrassing thing for me. And it's not... For sure. <laughs> and it's not even my goddamn fault! Yeah, it's not. It's not. Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just tell people, if you Google worst guy ever, you, the literally the first thing that come up is Tom's face. Uh, yeah, from, with from like an old video. It's yeah, like some, someone, someone, what video. happened is, is I, I used to, I used to wear a fedora unironically. And this is what I'm talking about in terms of, I did things cringy without <laughs> yeah. knowing. And the reason that I had this stupid hat is that my girlfriend bought it for herself and she didn't that like cunt? it and gave it to me oh, and she liked get, yeah. me in it. <laughs> So I was like, I don't know shit. I, I literally don't ever buy clothes. I don't know anything about anything. And like, this was back in college. And when I was in college, I literally, I never went on the internet other than like trying to post art. I didn't have any social contact or anything hmm. like that. So hmm. I had no context for any of this. So I'm just like, whatever. She gave me a hat. She likes me in the hat. I'm going to wear the hat. And that that was as simple as it was. And then I just wore that for whatever. Cause like that just became part of my thing. And then... I just started making videos on YouTube, and then someone screen capped it and made a fake OK Cupid profile. Yeah, <laughs> and and it's it's since become a meme. The original like 4chan, it was it was the image was called Mexican Christian Bale. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Mexican Christian Bale. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> and, you know, and, this is why this is why literally everyone on the internet needs a meme consultant to make sure they're not making any massive boners that will that will get them memed hardcore. It's important. So. Like all those innocent young men who just want to take pictures with their katanas that their moms are taking pictures of and can be seen in the reflection in the mirror. And then, they uh, po- while and then the their mom happens. posts it to Facebook and it's all over. You know, like exactly. you're fucked at that point. These need to go through a review process. It's important. Mm. Oh, so I was like worried about my artwork being too embarrassing, not realizing that I'd set this huge fucking trap card for myself. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know, it's just one of those things. And like to this day, every now and then I just get tweets. Is this you? And I'm like, <laughs> I, I used to respond to them, but now I'm just like, uh, yeah. I'm so yeah. tired of saying this. I'm trying dudes. to explain this over and over again. So now it's on the record. <laughs> Everybody can know. Uh, give me give me money at patreon.com slash save me so I can change yeah. my identity, get some facial reconstruction <laughs> surgery, and just dodge this whole thing forever. I, mean, all, all I, I think that's pretty great. I'd be pretty proud of this. Sanctioned. I'm that, a little jealous, my, frankly. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I, I, I pray that one day I'll be a meme in, in some facet or another. I long for that day with all with all my fucking heart. 
One day. One day. W- one day I'm, not making, I'm not series. making any money off of this, so it's not all it's cracked up to be, let me tell you. The, that's um, true. That's true. I, I don't have care a single a... thing about coins. I care about fame. I care about eyeballs I... looking at me. <laughs> I have yep. Uh, yep. Uh, an embarrassing story. Excellent. And it's um, it was in school. I was a kid. And I wasn't a child genius prodigy golden kid, boy. I wasn't good. <laughs> L- like us. That is so embarrassing. It's haunted me my whole life that I wasn't sure. Mozart or David Bowie. I wondered if at least one of those mm-hmm. would have been great, but no. The, that's it. I don't well, feel it. shame. I don't okay. really understand the feeling of shame, even though... like, Well, I do, but like, it no, it doesn't affect me in a way that... Like, I know when I do something that's cringy, it's like, oh, well, it, it doesn't affect me. That's actually I, really important, that, mm-hmm. that factor. Because, like, mm-hmm. shame, because, like, Munchie, like, shame, I think you'll agree with me, shame is kind of, like, where the boundaries of society are set, right? Exactly. And you yeah. kind of, yeah, your embarrassment right. is you being cognizant of the fact that you're doing something shameful. Like, so to- that's, that's what yeah. it is. To- and then the way that society changes and things become less, like, like become acceptable is when people know they're doing something shameful and choose to enjoy what they're doing more than uh, being yeah. held down that, by the embarrassment. And then that's how yeah, things I feel, become socially I feel, acceptable I, and things move I understand yeah. Yeah, yeah. what I do that is shameful, but I am never embarrassed so, by it. So you're a cultural pioneer, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> by not you're, being you're, a child regular, prodigy. You, 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 you may not be a Mozart, but you're sure as hell a Steve Jobs. <laughs> a singular Steve Job. Well, um, I that's okay. <laughs> I, so what? Yeah, go on, much. Yeah, go, uh, go on. Okay, go. okay. I I would like to uh, uh, elaborate on my 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 seemingly uh, incongruent. I think is the word. Uh, like like in- incredibly easily embarrassed self and my uh, munchy self. Uh, mm, while it's mm. true, I often parade around my town in fully in like full pizza jumpsuit. I actually do that. <laughs> I'm also paradoxically very concerned what people think about me. I, I don't have like an on or off switch really. I, I'm most of the time like this in real life w- within reason. The main point that separates embarrassment in the jumpsuit and out is what my intention is. When I'm in the jumpsuit, mm, I- mm. I'm the star of the show. I'm intentionally poking fun at myself and acting generally silly. Specifically He's breaking. Every social norm at once. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. I, it's on your own terms. I am the mm. clown. Mm. It's me. I, I'm trying to make people happy and get them to laugh at me for entertainment's sake. But um, when I'm not intentionally acting foolish, and and some part of my personality or like quirk of habit shows, I'm not prepared for the public to see. That's far more terrifying than an entire crowd of people laughing at it's, me. Uh, it's my, it's my, the my old my phenom- amusement. It's yeah. the old phenomenon of a girl being embarrassed in my, in my anime, the only media I understand, or thing I understand. Uh, when you walk in on them changing, they're in their underwear. Ah, so has Kashi, so embarrassed, a blush and punch. Uh, but if you see him in a bathing suit, it's no big deal, even though it's like literally the exact same thing, uh, just because they're expecting people to view them in these in this situation. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting distinction. I, I, I think I w- maybe I was wrong about like the embarrassment, because I... Like I have that uh, that anime Dakimakura pillow now. Like I got yes. it for for, yes. for a sponsored Welcome to the video. club. Yeah, the, best, the best video of the year so far. <laughs> uh, yes, I like it. And it, it was like, oh, I was I was making fun of like, oh, I'm a I'm a freak. Oh, haha. And I posted on Twitter like, oh, look at look yeah. at how degenerate I am or whatever. But posting it online is is fine. I don't actually feel embarrassed about that. Otherwise, I would not post it. But. Mm-hmm. It's a couple times when my parents knock on the door, and they come in. And yeah. I have to like, oh, I look over, and there's like the the face is there. I have to cover up the whole thing. I have to cover up the whole thing with the duvet <laughs> so they don't see that I'm sleeping with a with a cartoon character. They don't. They don't know I'm memeing. <laughs> oh God, I can't yeah, explain that's, it. That's exactly it. That's exactly they don't understand it. the irony of the situation. They, they, they yeah. don't understand Indeed. that I'm joking. They don't understand that it's all it's all ironic in a joke. He says well, uh, intensely I mean, it's... hugging the documenter <laughs> while he sleeps no, every no, night. No, no, it's. I mean, it's not even ironic in that way. It is like it's nice to have a big old pillow like that to hug. The 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 image on it is like, oh, that's cute. But they don't know anything. Like they don't even know the first thing. They might think it's very weird. They might think yeah. I should die. They haven't seen it yet. They don't know. They don't know it's there. I keep it covered at all times. <laughs> so I'm definitely I, embarrassed you, about that. But and how like, do you like bring internet, that up? No. 
Yeah, I mean, how do you just like it? Like, it'd be good to like just to let them know the information about like like I have one that is in my closet right now because I don't want anyone to see it and embarrass me because they think that I like uh, I don't know like uh, yeah, they'll think that's I my like girls life or something. You know. <laughs> I just, I just <laughs> yeah, I can't let them think that. Uh, but like, how do you bring it up in a graceful way? Even bring it up at all is embarrassing. So the only thing you can do is just simply not bring it up, and then you always know if somebody were to see it, it would be embarrassing because you're not going to bring think, it up. I mean, really, yeah. what the, the the best thing to do is just to you know if they come in. And they see it, and it's not covered, and they say, oh, what's that? It's just like, it's a pillow. You know, like, just they're just nonchalant, like, yes, yeah, nothing big deal about it. Don't, uh, you know, just nothing. And then they're like, Man, this oh, is the real okay. shit. This is the real shit, because I think about this a lot. <laughs> Especially I mean, since I my, had my, that. Um, my, mm-hmm. I, I also have one of those Opai mouse pads with the boob oh, on yeah. it. Oh, and, yeah. And, and they've definitely been able to see that, because it is on my desk. And they come in, <laughs> and it's like... But like they've never mentioned it. They've never said what's that or oh. They've never. Oh, you know ma- they're thinking weird shit. You know it. If they I haven't they said are. anything for sure. But, like, that's for sure. the worst part, dude. That's when the, when dude, your I, head makes it ten times worse than it probably actually is. Yeah, but yeah. I, I I prefer yeah. it, I prefer it like that when, like I don't prefer them. Well, I do prefer them to never mention it because it means they don't <laughs> care and it's it's yeah. it's okay. Like if they think in the back of their head. Oh well, I guess he likes boobs. Like that doesn't mean too much. It's kind of okay, in fact. <coughs> okay, well here's here's where my mind goes because I'm twisted like this. I I don't want one of those because like I would think if I was in a situation like yours, what I would think that you should not think, but what I might think is like, oh god, they think I'm a freak. Uh, they don't want to bring it up because they don't want to make it real. What a freak I am! So they're just going to like ignore this and pretend it's not there. All right, and we'll all just it, move on from this. H- h- yeah. Here's here's a head thing. Um, mm-hmm. That happens a lot, or it used to happen a lot with me. Like mm-hmm. I would think, um, you know, there's there's it's very easy to conspire in your mind. Like they're not bringing it up, which means uh, that you know they know about it and they're thinking yeah. about it, and people are thinking it's conspiracy theory. You're 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 thinking. Everybody has some sort of th- uh, like nasty thought about you that they are mm-hmm. hiding for their you know f- to be seem polite and stuff. Yeah. And at some point, I just thought it's it really it's a it's just a bad idea all around to ever entertain those ideas that That's somebody true. thinks something and they don't say it. Like what? W- it's. Just, uh, well, you know, it's you just, know what's an interesting. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know what's an interesting tra- trajectory that's like relevant to what you're saying right now. It's like it's been my relationship with anime over the years growing up, because I've been I've been paying attention to like how my how my thoughts have been going for I don't know the last many years. But it's like when I was a kid, I unabashedly was into like Power Rangers and Transformers, and then I just like Dragon Ball Z, and it turned me on like I don't know Toonami and like all this stuff, and then I just got sucked into it over over the years. But like in, in like my early college years and my high school years, I was definitely like embarrassed of it, even though paradoxically at the same time I was like exclusively wearing anime T-shirts to school and like wearing Kingdom Hearts wristbands literally every day, and you know like th- this is it was like I was both simultaneously humiliated when it would come up in any way and also like displaying it to all the world so like what I don't really know why my what what the deal was with that but like at this point in my in my life I've like completely swung the other way and like I don't like shove it in anybody's face really I still do wear anime shirts like almost every day uh, but like I don't think about it and it's not like really part of my identity to like shove it in people's face except how I like I utilize it specifically like for my online stuff because like of course I still like it and I still do it and I've turned it into like a product basically my my passion for anime it's something that I have you know uh, found an effective thing to like talk about online and people enjoy listening to it so just because you have an outlet for that now you don't feel you have to like yeah I never had an outlet that's absolutely true me and Ben would talk sometimes but like there was no anime club in high school there was was nobody like master Mm -hmm. like you it, it, it's true. It's true. I was more into these things. And um, it's just like now I like it. it the, the pendulum is really swung. At this point, I'm like totally comfortable with the fact that I like these things. Like even in, in like the T-Bap days, like, you know, I, I, I would like make fun of myself for liking anime and stuff. But now, like, I don't even get the point. Like, there's nothing to be embarrassed about with like liking anime. Mm-hmm. And now it just but but well, at the are, same are, are, time, are you more comfortable with it or has it just become more common and more acceptable? 
Well, I actually think that because I've become more of an adult, I am questioning myself less. And as a result of that, I think to myself, yeah, it's just normal for me to like anime. Why should I feel embarrassed? That's just who I am. Mm. Whereas when you're a kid, the only difference is that you're less sure of yourself. Kids like get nothing embarrassed makes it about stupid better. shit that doesn't matter. They matter. sure do. It's oh, they really sure do. Funny. Like, I, like I, Lars in uh, kid, Steven I, Universe? I, yeah, I can confirm. I, <laughs> the Lars and Steven universe is like the exact right like example. Like he just is humiliated by things that are not embarrassing in any way, mm -hmm. and just lets it like consume his thoughts. And he just makes up these narratives because I don't know. He probably just hates himself or something. I think it's because uh, like, when mm -hmm. you're younger, you don't have like you haven't like completely figured out your identity yet. Exactly. So yeah. Ev everything kind of is an act that you're doing because you're trying to kind of figure out what your actual genuine persona is. But once you have I that locked down, it's just like, well, this is who I am. And I'm not going to change it because fuck you. And you know what? In in a certain lens, that's kind of a negative thing in the sense that you're kind of solidified in who you are and you can't, like, grow and change as much. It's like when an oak tree grows. Like, you, when it's young, you can shape it and make it grow a certain way. But once it gets too old, if you try to reshape it, it'll, like, snap or it just, like, won't go that way anymore. Yeah. People's yeah. personalities and that's, are and like that's that. how, like, you know, like older generations get locked into ways of thinking and you, your Indeed. brain becomes less malleable. And that's, you know, exactly. that's... It's like a good with the bad thing. Like you're young, you're malleable, but you're also very vulnerable. Which it's is why it's super important that people keep dying so that ideas can continue to grow because people with solid minds, they need to go away and die. Like like religion. Religion is not going away with like the people who are alive right now. Those people need to die and their kids need to get more and more secular they so need, we can get they off need the They need to die right but, up but, but, until but, me and I yeah, need to be so, the first I one to not a, die. Unlimited life. I mean, I hear you, but honestly, technology. we should all die too at some point. Uh, like the, 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 nobody brings no. up, but the the one negative no. about if we had immortality would be no. that, as far as we understand it, our minds do kind of you know uh, settle into one one frame of reference and one way of perceiving the world. Where new generation, I mean, hell, hell, maybe if I'll we settle that keeps my going, fist into your face, best guy yeah, well, ever. F fair enough, but uh, I don't know. Maybe that would be a way to like protect but, humanity but, from but proceeding Nate, to degeneracy. I, I, Nate, what if if we have yeah. an unlimited lifespan? What if the whole idea of like solidifying a persona in our minds and and living that mm -hmm. way is just a, a a consequence of our finite lifespan and it's like a social kind of construction? What if we mm -hmm. had unlimited lifespan and we never had to worry about uh, getting older and like all these like crazy responsibilities? Hey, if that if that our happened, minds were ultimately malleable forever. We were always open to new ideas, always evolving, um, always changing. If that I mean, happened, there'd be being. no problem. That'd be that'd be people. You know, better. People can be still better. change their minds, like. Like even when they're old, I think that probably like like the mind is still plastic, and like if people were living if people were living a thousand years, I mean they'd mm -hmm. have then they'd have a thousand years for their minds to change, you know. I I don't know if they change that much though. I mean I'm this is I'm, I'm seriously uh, I wonder about that. Uh, like how much the, the well, mind here's of a, here's like, the thing, Nate. Everybody okay. Who once everybody has unlimited like lifespans and is immortal or mm -hmm. undying or whatever, mm -hmm. then. Uh, then all those people will be accepting of new ideas, and everybody who uh, wouldn't, who would have their closed minds, isn't going to accept immortality anyways, because they're going to be like, "I need to go to heaven and die." So they're all going to die. We don't have to worry uh, that's about that. That's only on one issue, though. That's, they're gone. They, maybe they're more accepting, but that doesn't necessarily. Okay, well, here, here's like a, here's the weird utilitarianism point oh, of this. We could make it thing. one episode. It's uh, well, we're already on it basically, <laughs> but it's just okay if. Is it right? Okay, let's say we had a pill that gives you immortality, like your cells just stop aging. Uh, but but let's, let's say I really believe, and I have a good scientific basis for thinking that it, it is actually good for people to keep dying so as to keep this, like, refreshing cycle going so people, like, keep evolving and changing and, you know, through their kids who gain new ideas and they're not as malleable, et cetera, et cetera. If that process is helped of like ideas being furthered by new people being born, should we then not let people become immortal? Um, what like, do we need new ideas for if we don't die? That's a silly thing to say. You're silly. So, I, mean, I, I think I just think they'll if we have immortality, and I don't think new ideas are going to stop just because uh, people are immortal. Yeah, I, I, I think it's the degree, I think though it's society degree. It's society would change at a slower pace, but because much everybody slower. lives much longer, 
it, it's going to change slower regardless. That's It'd inefficient. That is inefficient. People dying is a more efficient system, and right, I like well, that. What, if I'm an just, efficient I'm system I'm coming to over what? to your house once, to kill you, Nate. We, it's for the sake of efficiency. Once, I gotta once we figure out how argument. to not die, we don't need to make any more progress. That's it. That's the that's end not, game. Uh, that's not true because the finite has a, the universe has a finite time span. And You've got and a our, finite our planet, time span. Our planet will only be around a few billion years, and we want to get this shit rolling. Get what rolling? Get progress rolling. Progress towards what? Starfleet. Inter interstellar travel. <laughs> no, that's interdimensional that's travel. Starfleet didn't have immortality. Uh, that's true. Some people Starfleet really wanted lost. it. We'd be better than Starfleet. Well, by then. We no, that's exactly Starfleet. why we're we should we the, should keep um, killing thing people. I was trying to say. Earlier, I'm not even arguing for this, by the way. When <laughs> yes, go on, Gib, please. The the thing I was trying to say earlier when I embarrassingly uh, embarrassingly uh, choked mm -hmm. on my own throat and Nate stole the whole podcast away from Indeed. me. Um, was that if people don't, if, if people have like a problem with you and they don't air their grievances, it either means, um, well, one, it means that, uh, that you should just assume that your good qualities outweigh the bad ones and that people like you and it's not a problem. Because, mm -hmm. like, the, the, there was always this feeling that, you know, there's, you know, things could, like, uh, things you do that are wrong or like uh, issues that people have with you, if they never bring them up, then that just means that it's not really a big deal and you should stop worrying about it. Uh, but mm -hmm. if they do have big problems with you and they don't outweigh, like the good parts don't outweigh the negative parts, it is on them to tell you, otherwise it's their fault for getting so bent out of shape about it and maybe exploding. And so I just, I just like to live my life like assuming that people like me unless they say otherwise. Mike Claspect is the thief of podcasts. <laughs> N nice one. Uh, <laughs> Got him. I, 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 I completely zoned out throughout that whole, like, immortality thing. I have no idea what it has to do with the podcast at large. So A I little bit. A little bit. Wh okay, I, while I a... it's nice to not be concerned with what other people think about you, and, and it's, it is comfortable to have that peace of mind. Well, not peace of mind, but, you know, not have to think about how you are affecting the people around you. I would say it's kind of dangerous, maybe. I don't think in your instance, necessarily. Well, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, like, um, observant of, like, I'm not, like, I'm not using that as a crutch because I'm bad at understanding people's emotions. Like, I can pick up on things. I just, if I'm not sure, I... I, I lean towards the side of well, they don't actually have a problem because they're not saying anything. But how do you know that? How yeah. do you know that's actually the case? Well, I don't. Well, I mean, maybe they have problems, but like the the point is, overall as a person, if they don't want me in their life, it's up to them to tell me, right? In 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 one way or another, <laughs> not not like directly, like hello, I well hello goodbye. Like they don't have to like type it out. If there's if there's no indication that anything I'm doing is wrong at any point, what am I supposed mm -hmm. to do? Am I supposed to feel in fear at at, at all times? I, I think there's a balance to be found yeah, between the exactly. two. But yeah, that, that well, wasn't that's that all. like that's the all. purpose of shame is like social shaming, yeah, like to show you that the behaviors and things you're doing are unacceptable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like and sometimes it's appropriate to push through shame to like do it anyway, right? Because like well, it's a dumb idea. That's yeah. the question I wanted to present. Is that mm -hmm. do is I'm glad. Is shame a good thing or a bad thing? And is the erosion of shame detrimental to society? Because, I think, like, I, think I feel like is. we're at a point right Despite now, what I've been saying. like, with culture, that, like, there, is, there is a lot of, like, sh social shifting going on. And there's a lot of yeah. things that were taboo, like, even 10 years ago, like, mm -hmm. totally out in the open and everything's happening now. And, like, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because, like, if we keep mm -hmm. going in that mm -hmm. direction soon, like, like, doesn't society inevitably break down if there's no there more is a boundaries? Limit. There is a if limit. there's no yeah. underlying values think, that all of society well, adheres to? Yeah, I, get, I, get, here, here's what I think Gibson. about that. Mm -hmm. I think the way that most people, like, say if they everybody tried to do what I, like, I generally do by assuming the, the, the best of people and then assuming there's no problem if people don't speak up, a lot of people would not, like be self-critical enough to change if so if it's it, it turns out that someone like that what 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 munchie no Munchie, stop you're, stop mining bitcoin over you're, there you're, you're, sake. you're stealing my speech i ha i wrote a whole speech <laughs> oh okay go on ed I, I i'm bad at speaking um, the most embarrassing thing i do is pcp <laughs> i'm terrible <laughs> <at life. laughs> okay 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 
uh, arm retrieval mode activated. I- I- oh, embarrassment, boy. more specifically shame, is not only good for you, but actively beneficial to society. Mm. Eternal shame is a built-in, natural repellent of bad or unhealthy thoughts. It is your body's way of telling you that you fucked up, but not with the carnage of the flesh. If you're like me, your mind will literally torment you day in, day out of your past sins and the evils you've committed to yourself and your loved ones. You will never escape your misdeeds. You could be having the time of your life at a party or falling asleep in bed when suddenly that one encore conversation with your homeward teacher back in sixth grade telling her that she looked like Tina Fey but way, way older. Uh, or worse, the awful, awful porn you've drawn of Tina Fey but way, way older. <laughs> then, your thought, your, then your thought process is hijacked and all you can think about for the next 20 minutes is your sixth grade teachers all in variously uh, uh, poorly constructed sexual positions with no concept of anatomy or what sex actually is. This is your personal nightmare. It's all your fault. Now, clearly this is not a desirable situation to be in. You're probably almost moved to tears or an anxiety attack. It's like your suggestion of your math room teacher sprawled out on what appears to be her knees, though due to the complete failure of perspective, it looks like her back. And you're probably cursing me for the mere suggestion that you deserve this fate. And to that, I'd say it's your own fucking fault, buddy. In scenarios such as this, and much less comedic ones, where you've genuinely hurt the people in your lives, you only have yourself to blame. And you have hurt and lied to the people you care about, or, or alternatively drawn Steven Universe storyboard, uh, t- uh, star- storyboard to your porn of them. You <laughs> yourself have committed social faux pas, or done something you promised someone you wouldn't, something such as that. No one is allowed to hold that burden but you. Only you may inherit the shitty things you have done. Just because they're in your past doesn't mean they aren't you. You are defined in the ways you, like, you probably couldn't even articulate by your past sins. And... I think, in good ways. Now, just because I say the past still matters, I'm also now, currently, right now, next sentence, next word, right, the next thing I'm about to say, currently, okay, here it goes, saying that the present and future are wide open. Like, wide, wide open. The, mm-hmm. Like, like you... Hold on, I lost track of my notes. Like Hold so many on. hot moms looking like Tina Fey, yeah, only yeah, way, yeah, yeah, way yeah, older. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> wide, wide open. Like my voluptuous reading teacher. I, well, actually, no, no, no. Oh, I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't want to no, no more. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the point is, you have done shitty things, and you've been sung by them, probably hard. And that does matter. But what matters more is what you do now. It's easy to commit a sin and then curl up into a ball and cry your eyes out, cursing yourself for mistakes. It's almost comforting to throw yourself into the pity party, rejecting your actions, while at the same time in the back of your head trying to rationalize them. It's so, so easy to do that. I've done that for most of my life. But if all you do is toil and regret your mistakes, that's all you're ever going to be defined by. You have to make that next step, the harder step. You have to get fucking action and snatch your wrongs from the baby playhouse of self-defeatism and throw that slimy fuck directly into the middle of accountability junction, motherfucker. You must move on from your life and start to specifically be a better person. Most of the time, this will not mean mending the damage you've done, because most of the time, you have to let certain things go because you've probably destroyed them more than you can ever repair them in most embarrassing situations and you know it's 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 in the past you can't rewind time to make sure that you don't envision your homeroom teacher naked during class what you can (laughs) always do regardless of circumstance or background is just remember live your life and remember what you've done and look out for the signs that lead you down the path towards treachery Look for ways to remove yourself from temptations and obstructions. Remember how and why you did the thing so you can specifically eradicate all chances of it happening again. Learn from your fucking mistakes, you slippery slut, you fucking cheap dog food nigger you after and after you snap your life back into place understand what you did and can do think for a moment to to think for a moment to thank the friend that made this all possible because let's be honest no way you would have found the initiative or power to change your life even aside the most rousing of speeches if you didn't feel absolutely awful at the low point the original pit of despair and agony you felt deep inside your intestines was the primordial for your ascension to repair your fucking life. People can tell you and tell you what to do and how to fix things, but if you don't feel bad and if you don't feel regret for what you did and you don't feel absolutely ashamed of what you did, then you're not going to get better. 
you're not. The pain was your trusty biological suicide of feeling that turned your life around. So Watch, next, are we anywhere close to the end here? Yes, how, how long yes. is this? Okay, no, okay. Yeah. So next time you let a conversation awkwardly linger for a second or two, you cheat on your husband, or you draw terrible porn as a 13-year-old that you post on the internet, know that the very pain that courses through your soul is your ticket to redemption. And that's the only way you can let shame... Uh, positively impact you. You have to just you have to take it and remember what you've done. That's why shame is good because it will never go away ever. And that's just a, a clear blueprint to be better at everything. Yeah, I, I I would say that that is exactly what I think about shame. The only thing is, I only take shame from trust that uh, from sources that I trust. You know, if a friend that I trust the opinion of tells me that I'm doing something wrong, I will think oh. Oh, I gotta think about this. But if it's just a bunch of people that I know are stupid, then I'm not gonna feel shame. Like, if it's like a societal thing that is like generally, oh, you shouldn't say swears, like, well, fuck off. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't need to change because of things like that. But, you know, that, that that's why, like, yeah. trying to get rid of shame, of societal shame, isn't good because there some are... people mm -hmm. uh, choose the wrong things to, like, right, not right. change. Like, you shouldn't fuck children. Ah, get out of here. Like, mm -hmm. that, that... That's that, like a real those guys, That's a real that, Those guys should, that. should try and change themselves. They just, you know, they're crazy. Mm -hmm. You have to pick and choose your battles, dude. You have to always, you know, try and evaluate things yourself. And it's gonna be hard. You just have to you know, figure out what the people around you think, because that's what really matters most a, of the A time. lot of people will hear you guys talking about how, like, it's what the people around you say, and it's, it's all the societal stuff, and they will use that... Like, okay, all these positivity movements think that, like, shame is bullshit. And, like, a lot of people want to escape shame because it feels completely arbitrary and, like, it doesn't mean anything. That's also abdicating yeah. responsibility, and that infuriates me. Exactly. Uh, well, yeah, like, like for ex the body positivity movement, for example. Okay, let's say you're a big, fat, fatty piece of shit, and you uh, want to... Raise you, you know, pe and, pe and people are giving you shit for it. You're getting shit for being fat. People are calling you a fatty. Uh, they're, you know, they're making fun of you. Okay, let's say that's happening. Okay, so you are experiencing shame. I totally get why your reaction to that could be... Well, this is bullshit. Like, what's even the problem with me being fat? I am who I am. They need to fucking live with these curves. It's their problem, not mine. Like, why, what, why, what is the problem here? Okay, what you need to do is, you can't just say, I should not feel bad. I, it is wrong that I feel bad about X. Let's, that's it. You, what you, what you need to do is sit down and be honest and analyze the facts on the ground. Is there actually a good case for why things are the way they are? Fat shaming comes from a long history of people generally being skinnier, and now all of a sudden we've got a, a big fat obesity crisis, and, and lots of people are literally as fat, like half of the American population is as fat as like the carnival show fat freaks at carnivals of like the 20s and shit. It's, it's, a, it's insane, and it's disgusting, and people need to fucking fix their shit. Uh, but, like... So there, there is a real reason why people say, like, hey, you should lose weight, whether they do it in a mean way or a nice way. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to call anybody shit. I'm not actually trying to insult anybody. But there is a real reason why people experience, you know, blowback when they are extremely obese. Because it, yeah. it is bad for them. There are real there, studies about this. It's real. It's real. There, there, you can't run up the like, fucking hill. There's two different, like, aspects to this as well. Because, like, mm -hmm. there's, there's the people who, like... I don't care. I'm going to eat what I want. I know it's unhealthy. I know I'm going to die young, Intuitive but I eating. don't care. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, like, th there's those people, which I wouldn't necessarily, like, I, I, I think you're gross if you That is eat. degeneracy. That is degeneracy. Yeah. But mm -hmm. but then there's the, the there's the people with the body positivity who say it's healthy to be obese. It's healthy right. to be as the whatever weight you yeah, want, which is the bad. dangerous stuff that you should, like, that is bad. You should know at least what you're doing. Like, you can do what you like. You can die young and fat if you really want to, but as long as you know that's what you're doing. You right. know? But the, the problem yeah. is well, the spreading of misinformation. It, the, that, but see, that's... I think you're touching on exactly what I was saying earlier about how, like, uh, eroding shame is bad for society because in this quest to erode shame, we're now misconstruing facts and lying to people in order to make exactly. everybody feel better. Yeah. And that's bad. And to go back to what you were saying, Nate, with, like, the fat shaming thing, because, like, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to pick on fat people, but this is a great example because it's very tangible and easy to understand yeah, to kind yeah. of explain this more of, like, a wider context, is that if you – I think, the, the for me, the shame thing has always been my internal 
uh, like just enjoyment of something versus the external shame. So like if I enjoy myself enough that the shame isn't a problem anymore, then I'm just going to do it no matter, you know, like as, as long as I'm not hurting anybody else, like that's just the, you know, if you're hurting other people, there's the, you have a whole different story, but if it's just like affecting you and you're having fun more than the, the negative impact of it, then just do you. So like, if you're someone who just is like, super fat eats tons of food doesn't want to exercise and you're just like you know what i enjoy my life this is what i want to do with it like go ham but then there's people who are going to like the fat acceptance movement and things like that they're doing that not because they are actually proud of what they're doing it's because they're ashamed and they're afraid and they hurt and they're trying to get rid of that hurt and they're using this as an excuse because there's a lot of people that exactly. before this whole fat acceptance movement if someone said here's a pill it'll make you slim tomorrow they would have taken it in an instant but mm. now they've internalized mm. this and it's become part of their identity they're, they're because treating... they're too afraid to put the work in to do what they actually would want they're, to do they're treating the symptoms of shame not the disease that is the underlying cause and For I mean I'm not sure. always saying it's necessarily always going to be a disease every type of shame like if you're I don't, I don't know, just an example, like, if you're, like, a black kid in, like, a white school and, like, they talk shit on you because you're black and different, then, like, obviously that's not cool. You got, you know, that that's a reason to not, you know, to fight back and shit. But, like, there are real tangible things to, you know, get to, 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 to uh, be shamed for. I, I think I should talk for a second because, because as hmm. the token fat character of the PCP. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I, I, I would like to explain my reasoning for being fat on, on, on trial here. <laughs> By the way, you don't have to defend yourself. You or anybody else. You can do whatever you want, but you, you know you can yeah. expect blow black, blow mm. pe- blow I, fat, blow black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, blow fat, if you will. <laughs> I, I I more or less fall into the category one hippo described of mm-hmm. I my priorities just do not lie in the in the physical world i'm about the digital gamer <laughs> world and, I, and, I, and, and and you may mock me in the physical world but in the game world i reign supreme and my character <laughs> is, is, uh, is top level and, His and gamer you score he is the, my the, blade. The, the, yes the platinum trophies rain from the sky it's <laughs> unbelievable but but, but but seriously i i my, my like my parties just do not lie in me living that long or yeah. me you know, being attractive. And I do mm-hmm. realize that I am less attractive than if I was skinny. I realize all of these things with, you know, uh, fat being there because they're just true. I mean, I mean, obviously there's going to be people who like fat people and there are going to be people who, who to like To be fair, like fat guy is kind of a look. It's kind of a look that I kind of like. I kind of like it. I'm just saying. I'm just telling you for your for your information, guys. Fat girl is not a good look. It's not a good look. I'm just I'm well, just giving you the facts, people. I, obviously, there will be outliers, but that's just you know. Of course. That, yeah. That, of course. That, 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 that's that's just that, again. That's the uh, what what's the word? That, that's how most of society feels. And I understand mm-hmm. that. And while I'm not, I, I wouldn't say I'm ashamed of being fat. I'm not happy about it because there's nothing to be happy about. It's simply mm-hmm. me not dedicating like like the like the RuneScape points. I've never played RuneScape. Well, yeah, the like RuneScape one points to doing this. One and that's can no, recognize yeah. faults mm-hmm. with themselves and imperfections and not let it consume them in terms of like, oh, I'm worthless now. Like I have uh, I have this thing that's not ideal. Like I I honestly want to lose weight and I think about it a lot and it's a little bit embarrassing. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I want to lose like 10 pounds and I'll be in, I'll be in, I'll be happy about it. Until then, I feel embarrassed and ashamed of it. Mm-hmm. So you know, like that's me doing it in my. I, I very much practice what I preach here. That's why I work out every fucking week so that I can feel better about this. I have accepted the responsibility of taking care exactly. of this for myself. It's all about responsibility. It's about accountability. Yeah. And I understand that it is my fault and my fault alone that occasionally I'll be like, oh man, I'm fat. But that, that's a, that's a <laughs> yeah. fleeting yeah. thing. And that doesn't consume me because I'm not, I, that's not where my priorities lie. And I don't know, part of me th- feels like that shouldn't be for you either. Not like you, Nate, or that like physicality mm-hmm. does not matter or that being attractive does not matter. I'm just saying like, like for you, fat acceptance people, you shouldn't let this thing that is your fault and an ailment of you consume your thoughts if you want to be a fat broad well then you're just a fat broad there's no there are going to be there are going to be men that like you regardless of how much we do not like it there are going to be people that like you there will always be a look for everyone and you're not a worthless person i do not think you're a bad person but Mm -hmm. you can't Mm -hmm. just say that it is good or it is healthy it's it's just simply a not healthy and yeah. I don't know a good. I think I think another component quantify. of this is that people have changed this idea of tolerance to like uh, welcoming things with open arms. Tolerance is not you even know, praise. 
But that's Indeed. exactly that's like the whole problem is that like you can be fat or you can be whatever sort of like socially unaccepted thing you want to be, but don't expect people to like fucking give you praise for it. Like you know, if people give you shit. Like that's just part of doing what you're doing. It's going against the social fabric. And like tolerance is not is no not being uh, actively trying to stop you. That's what tolerance is. To to yeah. tolerate something is to say it's there. I'm not going to do anything about it. And that's it. It's not accepting it with open arms so like yeah. don't i think this whole idea of like trying to eradicate shame is bullshit and is never ridiculous. going to work and i think it's yeah ridiculous it's, it's not only is it never going to work it's act, it, if it, it like the 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 inches it takes will be extremely destructive i mean for sure I, I i have no doubt that the fat positivity movement has completely destroyed some people it has made oh, some yeah. people feel vindicated in their ability to not stop eating and it has just made them fucking i don't know i i, let's, I don't uh, know i don't know the stats but you know it definitely will not be i mean let's let's just them. say there's been a measurable rise in bbw lvr license plates across the nation <laughs> and that's just, that's a tragedy <laughs> in its own way Rick raises paw <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 incidentally, uh, I, I guess I can't say the fat positive movement is all bad because we do have a BBW lover by Robert yeah. <laughs> so, 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 may, so maybe there's something to it all along. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's cool. Let me let me tell you about the time I pooped in my bed. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, I took a shit in my bed, and that's the story. <laughs> no, there's, there's, a, little, there's Where, a little more when? to it. There's a little mm -hmm. more to it. I just I got really drunk Yesterday? one night, and I was <laughs> I was living with some friends, and I woke I blacked out, and I woke oh, up the next this day. Recent. This was adulthood. Yeah, yeah. This oh, was this was okay. yeah. It was like twenty three or twenty four. Oh no. Um. Well, listen. See, I don't understand. I don't really. I can't really explain it. I just woke up after having been blackout drunk, and there was just poop on my bed. And <laughs> Maybe I you're was framed. like, Maybe I don't want to hear this story. And I was like, Well, why would there? I mean, my my. I was. I'm right next to the bathroom. My room is right next to the bathroom. Why would I come into my own room and poop on like not in my bed, just on my blankets and everything? So oh, I, man, we, I told we all know. everyone, and I convinced myself that a cat had done it, that, like, a cat had shit on my bed. But, like, I don't know. I don't know if I really, truly believe that. You know ben, what I we mean? All, we all know the forbidden snack that is just pissing and shitting yourself in bed so you don't have to get up. Well, there oh, was no yeah, yeah. It, At least it's I don't It's spoken rule of the PCP that you have to, that, that, that's the hazing ritual. You have to <laughs> shit in, in bed to get into the PCP. There oh, was there was no, no pee. There was just some poop, and I was like, "Well, it was <laughs> it was a cat." But like, no one believed me, and I didn't really believe myself. But I don't really know. And like, okay. I had to take the blanket out in the backyard and spray it down with a hose and stuff, and it was very embarrassing. Hey, you know, that reminds me of there's a story our dad has. When our dad was a kid, he got he got like hit in the head uh, with like a golf club, and he got really messed up, so he had to be bedridden for like a long time. I remember uh, this story, and this story is weird, and I don't get it. It is okay, but but like one day, just like he's in bed, you know, he's just laid up, and like his parents' bed or whatever and like everybody else goes out and his parents has gotten him a bunch of like weird tasting chocolates so he's he's just sucking on a chocolate you know as like a little kid he's like seven they, or they something tell him bed. like don't get out of bed or you'll die yeah that's right do not get out of bed or you'll die and so he he gets one of these chocolates uh, from the, like the bedside table he puts it in his mouth and it's just like rank it's just like vile it's like the most disgusting mm -hmm. thing he's ever eaten and he just spits it out into his hand and like, okay, the, he, he, so he's in this bed, right? He's got a melting chocolate in his hand. The sheets are white. The sheets are pristine white. And like, he's got chocolate all over himself and the walls are right there. So he's like, well, uh, okay, here's what's happening. And so he proceeds to smear the chocolate oh. on the wall, just in a big brown streak on oh, the wall. No. And then, you know, he's just living in fear of what's what's to come. And then, like, his parents get home, like my grandparents, and they're just like, you pooped the bed. What? Why would you do that to the wall? <laughs> that was exactly the how you? they said you it, too. You pooped the That's wall. Yeah, I was you there. You pooped the wall. You pooped the wall. Um, unbelievable, but apparently true. So there you go. That sounds awful. I hate <laughs> everything that just is transpired to <laughs> right. It's a stupid and shame. infuriating I, story. I'm so I, upset I, that it has gotten I, this I, way. It's, it's good right, to know I, that, that the, uh, the, the, the Bestman family, or whatever you want to call yourselves, yes, has, yes, has a lineage correct. of poop stories. <laughs> I do oh, not yes. have one. Generation. I have no poop stories. Yeah, yeah right. right. That means none, it's coming. None. That means it's coming. <laughs> That's oh, not no. pretty stretch goal. Nate shits himself. 
Lord, yes. You're, Please. You're, you're cursed. You're cursed by the, by by the the family goblin, the shit goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, he'll he'll shit on your bed. I, <laughs> How far? And I I have one um little mm-hmm. uh sort of uh, uh embarrassing we, we, moment, got all which the, is you know speeches out. I mean, I think it's time for just anecdotes at this word. Point. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, as a kid, I was just embarrassing, like uh, as a default. Like, so I can't think of, like, very many particular moments that were incredibly embarrassing, but there was a drama class that I had to go to, um, and drama was like, Oh, no, not on stage! I can't do it! But I didn't say anything, I was just sort of, like, put look at the floor when they asked me to come up, and it was it was a, generally a voluntary thing. Like, they would do some things in groups, like, group in pairs, and you've got to act out this scene, and it was like, oh, no... And I never did anything, and ever. Like, I would never, ever do anything. And they would say, well, okay, you don't have to. And I would always be in the audience. And there was this one time where I plucked up the courage. Like, they, they were cheering. Because it was, it, was, it was kind of a meme that I would not do drama. I would never go up on stage and do anything. And, and, and everybody in my class knew. They knew that I hated drama. And this one time I stood up when asked... And they were like, "Oh my god!" And I, 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 it was really like the first baby steps of of stuff. So I wasn't really acting. I was just on the stage as the other guys did something, and then I, I looked at them. It's basically if you go to like the BronyCon uh, thing, it's it's that. I'm just standing there looking at the crowd, and then I leave. It's, <laughs> it's the worst. Sounds I hate fucking stages, sick. But, <laughs> You know, that, that's yeah. a good, that's a, I'm glad you mentioned that. I almost forgot about that. I am a little embarrassed of my performance at, at BronyCon 2 oh, for me. Yeah. Just going up on that stage and just, you know, Um, I'm loose. unbelievably embarrassed about my <laughs> performance there. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, Mine I, was I, the I, worst. I, I, I love the bit with the toilet paper, Ben. It was really inspired. No, please don't <laughs> mention that. I hate myself. Ben, toilet paper again? He can't escape it, this guy. He's yeah, just it's, a, it's just, just a, a poop lord. Poop story after poop story. It's poop stories all the way down with me. <laughs> I, 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 this actually brings up an interesting point. I, I Well, actually, two things. Uh, one, what was, like, the latest time you felt genuinely, like, real, 100% embarrassed? Because we have small em- embarrassing things that happen to us every day. But when was the last time you yeah. felt, like, actually, genuinely, like, oh, God, I really actually fucked up? And also, second, do, maybe because I have this, do you guys have, mm. like, a period of your life that just was embarrassment central that you can like take apart like starting and ending dates and, and like oh, you the know reasons what? you felt you know what like, I've got like, like, I it went on that golden age I have like a nega embarrassment uh, a time in my life which is very interesting it was when I was in I believe Nate an urban embarrassment please uh, yes forgive <laughs> me I, I think this was in middle school like like first or second like fifth or sixth grade or something uh, it might have been a little earlier than that okay but anyway it was just like I. Need, wanted a re- my parents wanted to give me a retainer from the orthodontist, you know, like a retainer that goes around your head and fucking fixes your teeth and shit. And like, it was a big like headpiece. It was called head headgear. Sorry, headgear is the term I'm trying to find. I it was remember fucking it. headgear. <laughs> and when we went to the orthodontist, they're like, hey, you need headgear. I was like, okay. And they're like, okay. So like, if you wear it at night, you'll be done in a year. And I said, what if I wore it? all the time and they mm-hmm. said well uh six months but like are you sure you want to do that and i was like hell yeah boy uh strutted out of the office in my heelys um and uh <laughs> so i just wore headgear for like a full six months of school like and i was never embarrassed about it. i had like no problems i have no negative feelings even associated with it it was a really a chad move i suppose only it was completely <laughs> unnecessary and i could have just worn it at night <laughs> Why did I do it? I don't know. I just didn't that, care. That just built up care. your reserve. So when you became an anime man, you could, a buy, low that, key you chat. could buy that Vampire Hunter D hat and <laughs> yeah. not, oh, not yes. feel bad about it. Very true. Very that- true. That, that that totally is a fucking Chad move. That's a fucking that's a MGTOW right? move. That that's totally like efficient <laughs> and like you know I'm just yeah, gonna bite the yeah. I'm gonna take responsibility. I'm just gonna fucking do this all all in one go. That that yep. was the birth Super of Chad. weird utilitarian. Yeah, yeah. Right <laughs> Indeed, it's true. It's very true. Uh, 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 also, also, the first thing I said. Uh, when was the last time you felt like genuinely embarrassed, Nate? Like recently? Uh, oh, uh, I would just say that um, occasionally at work, at my real job. Uh, like discussion comes up of my YouTube stuff, oh, and just no. just whenever oh. that happens, I feel a little oh. terror inside. Oh, that that and is just the worst. like wait wait wait. Why does why does it come up at work? 
Okay, there have been times when it has just like, uh, there's just situations where like I can't quite avoid saying like what, like I could lie when these questions are asked, but instead I'm just like, yeah, you know, I, I do like some, some online stuff, you know, it's just like a, just a little thing yeah. I do. And yeah. nobody, nobody there now like knows very much of it and nobody pays attention or really cares. Uh, and like I've shared a little more information with some of the guys who are actually pretty cool at work, but like. Yeah, like one of the guys, uh, this guy uh, Brad that I work with, just said like the other day, "Hey, congrats on 60k, dude!" And I was like, oh no! Uh, yeah, just the fact that he could then like tell like my fucking like real boss about like the things I'm doing and saying online. Oh <laughs> I, no! I, I like to imagine like whenever there's, there's like a quarterly report, or, like whenever <laughs> your boss interviews someone else, they're just like the boss is like, "So, what subscriber count is Nate at now? Oh, You're never yeah. gonna believe what." video this guy just put out <laughs> in no way am i embarrassed of like any of the content it's just it's what i'm embarrassed of is this crossing of the world so these people who know nothing about any yeah. of this yeah. stuff that's it, that's, um, that's it, it. It, it, if work nate walks through the pcp door that will kill pcp mm. nate it's true it's true <laughs> it's it's like the meaning of a the the georges are colliding exactly, sort of situation exactly. going on it's exactly, exactly what it um is. that that reminds me at at new year's this year i oh, like yeah, man. a couple a couple of people like had like seen on facebook and stuff that like i had a kickstarter and shit like a couple people these, these aren't people that i like know very well or friends with but they're like in my extended circle mm -hmm. and a couple of them asked me about like the kickstarters there was this one drunk girl who was like oh yeah i'm really interested yeah and okay. she had some shit to say it didn't matter the point is <laughs> the point is that it came up and was being talked about and i was fucking mortified that like real these real human people in real <laughs> life were like <laughs> talking because i have no idea what to say about it it's like yeah the, yep. i've made this thing and it's on the internet and you're asking me questions and i'm like what am i supposed to say i appreciate the interest but please please i have nothing for you that, yeah I don't, I, don't, I, I, don't, you. I don't know what you guys deal is that's that would be cool if, if i was if so i was walking down the street strutting my stuff as i do <laughs> uh and, and 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 some lowly coward asked me something about i don't know uh fucking M the japanese uh, juggalo Munchie. Munchie, you, you're like a Gwyn, yeah. and Ben is like a furtive pygmy. So easily <laughs> forgot. So easily forgot. He doesn't I mean, want I, to be seen. I mean, I did appreciate it, and I thought it was cool, but I, I also felt, like, very, very embarrassed at the same time. Remember when, like, we would talk about because, T-Bap like, to him? That was always humiliating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it's just because you have, you, when you have an online persona, you kind of, like, sit down and, like, you have a way mm -hmm. of presenting yourself online that is definitely <clears throat> different from yes. real life. Yes. So when you you have to like try and like turn that switch on when you're not in front of a screen, you're just like, what the f what? How do I do this? Yeah, I'm not used yeah. to this. It's it's that, it's weird though because it's it, not cause even like embarrassment. Being... It's just discomfort and not being able to under really know how to present yourself at that point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, for Ben specifically, you do comics, and that's like more of a real world thing anyway. So yeah. in a, if anything, it would feel less embarrassing to, than to say, I have a YouTube channel. I do Pokemon Let's uh, Plays. Oh, you might, no. you might think say, so. Hey, hey guys, it's I me, Ben. I'm a real PokeTuber. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> you you he might sure think is. so, but I feel just as embarrassed. I feel just as embarrassed talking about the Vapors as I did talking about T-Bab. It's made well, me wonder so if I was even <laughs> really bothered by the whole pony thing in the first yeah, place. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, I think so. Like, I, I It's <clears> embarrassing. I don't know, man. It, it's something about the way, it's like it's like if they were to go watch a video, it's like they'd expect me to act like that around around them, or they'd be like, "Why don't you?" I don't know. Yeah. Something weird's going on there, and I can't quite articulate it. It is weird. Ugh. Yeah, I can't. I can't <laughs> quite. I can't quite explain my feelings on the subject either. Yeah. Yeah. I. I just I, I don't know like because like no one feels ashamed like like if you were if you were just if you were fucking. Uh, Harvey Oswald or whoever makes comics nowadays. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lee Harvey if, Oswald. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're just someone like that, then you wouldn't be you wouldn't be like if you were Brian Lee O'Malley and someone's like, Oh, you draw comics, you'd be like, Yeah, yeah, I do. That that's um, I do. actually think that's I a would. respected job. What? I actually think I would be what? kinda Why? like, Oh yeah, I get I guess I'm Brian Lee O'Malley, but you know <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. You know, I, but <laughs> if you think about like what it would mean to be him, to like have fucking movies and like book deals and well, like be you, you get like what I that's mean, you're <clears throat> I, yeah, I do. I just yeah. think that like if you're really on that level, like your world has changed and and like you, it, it's not like being like a small time YouTuber or anything. It's like a different. It's like real. It's like real. And then you're like more. I'd I'd feel more like like a like a business executive like uncle of mine would like be like oh yes you're raking in X Y Z and the and the infrastructure stock See, and that's, o trade and that's the and opposite of embarrassment. That's social like social credit at that point. right. 
Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. I, I, I keep imagining uh, mm-hmm. Ben as Quentin Tarantino, and people come up to him and say, Oh, dude, I love Pulp Fiction. And he's like, Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Does he do that? <laughs> I guess. Well, that, well, that reminds me, uh, Nate, do you remember that one time that our dad got really, like, weird about the fact that we were swearing on TBAP? Hmm. I, a little bit, yes. And, I, I and he was like, hmm, and his, hmm. I, this has stuck with me, because I remember, I asked him, I was like, Dad, okay, this is going to sound really fucking uh, pretentious, <laughs> and like, I'm okay. really fucking up my own ass and think mm-hmm. I'm hot shit here. But I was just trying to make a point. I was like about art. And I was like, Dad, do you think that Quentin Tarantino is embarrassed about by Pulp Fiction because people say fuck in it? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I was like, your point. like, of course, of course not, right? Like, of course the answer's no. But Dad didn't say no. He was like, well, I may, I was like, I, I'm sure he's in some cases. I was like, God damn it. Well, you. I, I get Just his fucking point. agree with me because I'm right. He's seeing this like he dad's thinking about this the same way he thinks about like people who post like because this is frame of reference like pictures of themselves like swearing or, or drunk on Facebook like oh how embarrassing oh this is going to stick with you forever as opposed to like an actual like comedy video where it's all like intentional and presented in this way deliberately. Yeah. Uh, you know that's what, how he's thinking about this it. Is so. a, this is a work of fiction. This is a mm. work of this is a work of creative uh, you know energy and, uh, and it's, it's a it's a work of artifice. Maybe uh, whatever. Maybe shame has been crowed for me because I don't even think of swearing as like a degrading or like embarrassing thing. It just no. There's a certain audience. There, there there's a, a generational thing. Off. Like I yeah, like I think yeah. millennials and under like like Gen Xers and millennials and, and it, like it's it's with every it's swearing has just become less and less of a thing. I don't even think swearing exists Mod- anymore unless modern, you're like over day, the age of forty. Modern hmm. day swearing is bringing up topics that are like oh god shut up like politics like it, that is swearing now yeah now. yeah mm-hmm. like if you say donald trump anywhere like oh, why oh. Did you say that? uh more like donald trump please thank you <laughs> D- oh, trump hey, donald, donald trump is like the butt to ass you know exactly i was gonna say it's the crap to shit and yeah, things exactly. of that nature yes, yes. don't don't say you gotta you gotta like, tone that down a bit tune in to the, like, the, the same way month, ladies and gentlemen Oh, oh my yeah. god, it's gonna be incredible! Oh, Stick, you, you're no. gonna want to see that, guys. You're gonna want to fucking see that shit. But it's like it's like the the same things <clears throat> where the old ladies would say, "Oh, what's your language?" I would do that with "What's your topic?" I don't want to hear. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, excellent. Uh, I I'm just gonna jump in here and and say my <coughs> most recent embarrassment was mm-hmm. yesterday. Oh, where, good. <coughs> yeah, I I for 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 a school project. Was going to uh, like 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 I wrote up, I wrote up an essay and 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 and, and for some reason at my school they give you more points if if you like if you like speak your essay and so I was I was going to like like I'm, I was going to suck up to my teacher real hard and I was going to try and like like make it seem like I really actually genuinely cared about the things I was talking about and so I was going to go to to a like like a museum near where I live not, not like like an indoor museum like I was just going to go near this like historic it's kind of hard to explain like a mm-hmm, historical mm-hmm. Museum center block called uh, Babo Park. If you like Google it, viewers, and you'll get a better sense. I was inside mm. of museum screaming, but I was going to go <laughs> there and I was going to like 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 recite my essay just like away from people, not bother anyone. But the mere idea of me pulling out my phone and like talking while there were people like could, like could like see me like yeah. recording yeah. something that other oh. people will see. Yeah. Just made me so fucking I upset can't... and scared. Interesting. I've tried to do that you know, because like, there's people who like vlog just out on the street yeah. or whatever. Uh, yeah. Was, How do they yeah. do that? I have no fucking clue. That's the scariest thing in the entire I've fucking been, world. I've tried multiple times, and every time it's like, eh, no, no. Yeah, it's really embarrassing. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's because you're like doing that. It's because you're like infringing on their space, kind of. Yeah. I think yeah. that's really where my thing that comes from. It, is just like I don't feel like I have the right to do this because yeah. I feel like if some if I if, if I was just walking and someone was like, "Hey guys, I'm shooting a vlog," I'd be like, "I'm gonna shoot you with a gun." Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. The, wait, wait. Talk- Gib, Gib was gonna say oh, something. Okay, sure, sure. Well, I was just gonna say that mm-hmm. one time I, I was walking through a park and doing that, like mm-hmm. I was vlogging in the park because I assumed nobody would be there. But of course, there's dog walkers there, mm-hmm. and when. You know, it's a long. We're like, uh, we, like we a long call them uh, do- Dogecoin miners. That's what they're out there. <laughs> <in the brand. laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Go on. Sorry. Sorry. 
So and and like there's parts where the path is just really long and they can see you for a long time and I can oh, see them no. for a long time. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm holding oh, my no. camera in front of me. They can see that I have it's my an camera eternity. and then they 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 definitely know that I'm t I'm putting the camera down so that I can walk by them and oh, I'm just going to bring it back up again. They know like, you're that embarrassed. That's the worst part. I know. Oh yeah. no. I, I here's the thing. I talk loud. At, like, like, like when I'm with my friends and I'm walking down the street, I talk loud. People mm -hmm. can definitely hear me when I'm just having normal conversation. But I will talk. Like, I talked really quiet when I was trying to record this video. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think anyone could hear me, or I don't think anyone noticed me. But like, at, whereas like normally people will notice me. So why why is it just the cam? Like the camera itself makes it embarrassing for some reason. It it does it does because people I, like can see that you're like doing something and you're like recording yeah. something and they're like oh I don't know oh, I just thought of I just thought of a, a life hack about that uh -huh. like it, as, uh, if you have like where is she um, hit? a phone <laughs> if you have like if you if you're filming on a phone and maybe you should have like a dummy phone and put the phone up to your ear. So if people look at you and they glance, they say, oh, he's talking to someone on the phone. He's not talking to his phone. Isn't he trying yeah. to film himself, though? Yeah, well, yeah. It's you know, you should just, yeah. you just put, sort of like, like, put or pretend that so they don't yeah, see yeah. that arm. You yeah. just get a drone. You have the drone fly, like, overhead. Yeah. Like, That's how you do it. Lens, That's how you do it, man. you just have your phone. That You've you got that up. excruciatingly loud, like, mm -hmm. of the fucking thing in the museum. It's, like, it's okay, guys. I'm just <laughs> vlogging. <laughs> Please ignore the drone. <laughs> Create that a realistic atmosphere. Yeah. 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 By the way, um, Munchie, you mentioned yeah. school, doing a school project. I, I've been wondering about this. You must be a god at your school. You must own that fucking place. Because, mm. like, how could these weak cowards that I went to school with possibly mm. stack up to the intellectual juggernaut that you are, you know, just, just in real life? And these are lowly, like, yeah. 16, 17-year-old freaks. It's... I, you would, you would, any any high school person I've ever met in my life, you would crush them instantly. Yeah, like, what's the deal? Even... What's that like? What's that uh, like? Well, I actually don't know. I I, I, I told this before, but I go. I to dropped an out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I went to an. I, well, I'm going to an online charter score, uh, school. Oh. I, I'm in my senior year, so so I don't okay. go to a school. But when I did, that was hmm. before my. Uh, as I, as I alluded to earlier, the 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 golden age of me being embarrassed. Scene. I refer so to as my saying, gay period. Are you saying that like that going to an online charter school has unlocked your Christ consciousness? Is that is that I, where we all drop the ball? I I, th I think literally so. For Munchie, school? it's been a huge success. It's Holy allowed you shit. to do all the things I think like a charter school would like want their kids yeah. to be able to do, like just live your life and make positive stuff and just Man, fucking do whatever we, you want. We missed the boat. If I had gone to a charter school, I could be a cool dude like Munchie. Yeah. This sucks. Yeah. Uh, I hear charter school, and I think ship chart, and I think uh, like sailing around. The world. <laughs> it's a, it's a exactly nautical school. Is. He's yeah, gonna he's be an admiral when he grows up. The, the world wide he's web. sailing around the the surfing around the web. Hey, yeah. when he uh, when he graduates and he's an admiral, uh, he can come on our <laughs> ship and come on the podcast at patreon.com slash the podcast. Pirates. The Wait, the, like that. The, the I'm just a regular old <laughs> rear admiral Wattaja. Wait, no, not Wattaja. What, what was what? his name? What was, what was the tentacle rule? What was the tentacle rule? A uh, collapsic. Collapsic. What a god. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sick but, reference. But ba back when I was in like n like normal school, I was I was not a god by any means. <laughs> I I I was I I was disabled kid tier. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's oh, bad. Oh, no. yeah. That's bad juju. Yeah, that's it was it was real bad. It was interesting. I, <clears throat> interesting. I I okay okay. Gay period stuff is too recent for me to talk about, and not like genuinely just like oh god, like I'm going I'm going to be real upset genuinely on this podcast. Munchie, podcast. give us one. Give us one, please. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, one. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some okay. from from yes. from my, from my more normal school. Mm -hmm. Uh, there. Uh, I, I, I already, I already told you about how I, I almost like broke some kid's spine. Be, uh, uh, his fault, still. His fault. Still. <laughs> oh, the hug. Uh, the yeah, kid yeah, in the yeah, wheelchair, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 I, I had a reputation for 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 giving hugs. That, that, that was a thing that I did. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I did this but but I was I, I I was very flamboyant some on purpose some not <laughs> everyone thought I was gay not a single person did not <laughs> think that I was gay excellent and and and, and I, I think 
like 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 what what really like just like uh like I think I don't know uh, uh in, in, in a critical moment in me mm-hmm. being perceived as gay was I was just walking like, like <laughs> that on, saga yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was just walking on 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 the field mind my own business not doing anything some like Argentinian exchange student who was like <laughs> like four or three and I was like mm-hmm. I was already like five like ten if not higher mm-hmm. came up to me and she's like. I, like like in a thick like in a thick Spanish accent was like <laughs> I, I see I see you doing the hugs you need to stop this homosexuality you need to stop perpetrating this fucking propaganda you need to stop hugging people you're just like you're just really gay man you're just really really gay and you need to stop uh-huh. wow and I was like you don't know anything. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't understand what it's like. And I just, I just ran away. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just failed. I, to I, be right. fair, he probably didn't understand what it was like. I, I was you know, confronted on know, being gay, and I didn't even say I wasn't gay. I was just too gay. Yeah. That's true. Oh, see, some, something about that is not even embarrassing. Uh, yeah, when you look back on it and you just mm. laugh about it, and it's like mm. I was so silly back then, and you show that like you, you know you've learned, and like obviously mm. you do it a little different mm. now. You probably hug that motherfucker and make him gay too. That's what I would yeah. have done in that situation. Yeah, yeah. spread it yeah. around. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, there's there's like there's like um there's a certain amount of like oh well I didn't even know I could do that at the time. Yeah. To, yeah. to 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 you know to wave away like like oh I was so clum- I was such a stupid bitch but <laughs> like if you made a mistake like that today it would be terribly embarrassing mm-hmm. if somebody mm-hmm. if somebody said I don't like you and you ran away like come on <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> ran yeah. away <laughs> incredible literally uh, th- there's just too many my 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 memory's too foggy and there's just too many things that I, that I couldn't really go on a you know, a whole tirade about my 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 my, my old days in school. If I if, if 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 there's a high demand, I can probably like come up with like a couple stories um, uh, later after this I think, podcast. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, the, guys, I I think I might need to go soon. Let's uh, just, maybe we just jump to a couple questions. If you got a minute or two, and yeah. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I actually say yeah. one more story that will only take a second. Uh, okay. Back in, in in seventh grade, I forgot the combination to my locker for physical education, and mm-hmm. I didn't want to ask the teacher because I didn't want to let him know that I had messed up and forgot my code so right. I just stuck my gym code uh, my gym clothes into my backpack and so it stunk up my fucking backpack every single day for the rest of the year this was on day oh, like 3 no. <laughs> so, so, so for all of seventh grade, I had just kept my gym clothes in my backpack because I didn't want my teacher to think that I forgot my codes, which I did. And then How embarrassing that would have been. Yeah, yeah, I know Indeed. exactly. Indeed. <laughs> Okay, guys, yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. it's time. Thank you, yeah, Munchie. Sure. Thanks, everyone. Let's switch over to these questions because there's at least one that I need Gibbs' answer to. Of okay, so uh, everyone, hashtag SBCP. Send them on the Twitter. We take some there, and then of course, more likely to get them read is if you go to Patreon.com/slash/theprocrastinators, enter our Patron chat Discord, and that's where we ask for more questions. And let me read one from there right now. This is my favorite question the PCP has ever gotten. Uh, I love it okay. intensely. It is from famous. Chaiwanese singer, and it is simply, do you guys munch it or crunch it? <laughs> <laughs> that was the question. That's the yeah. question. That's yeah. the fucking qu- well. Um, well, I, definitely right, crunch right, it like a yeah, fucking yeah, sick, I, sick, crunchy Dorito when I'm doing extreme I, sports. I actually sports. crunch it as well. I crunch it as well. Yeah, I, I, I crunch it because <clears throat> there's a chocolate bar called a crunchy, and I really like those. So I crunch good. it because I like the kinesthetics of chomping into something. I, I don't know. When, when, when it's munching, it, it kind of that, that implies that it's not as powerful as a crunch. But you're it doesn't give me the same. You know, it's true. A munch, a yeah, crunchy. Munchy, munchy is like more powerful, like evil doppelganger is called crunchy. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking like <laughs> munchy. Munchy is like casual playthrough of of of, of video oh, game and crunch it uh, and crunch yeah. it is like speed run, high intensity, yeah, no, high velocity. Yeah, Game. Yeah. Every uber hacks, you know, yeah. that sort of style. Like, like, like genocide uh, run, no damage. I think there's a time and a place for both, you know. First you want to munch something and then you crunch it. And mm. there's a harmony to be found here. I, I don't think. know. We don't need no, to start a I race think, war. I think munch no, should you be go fucking crunch purged. Or go fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what do you... Let's, let's enter a, a wild variable in this one that may change okay. your perception oh, entirely. No. Do you munch it, crunch it, or slurp it? 
<laughs> oh no. no! This is like adding the Z Never axis slurp. to the world. And creating... I, I, I crunch. I, if I could, I would crunch soup. I don't like liquid. <laughs> do, do you put oyster crackers in your soup? Perhaps that adds some crunch. I, on, real talk. I do must. chew. I chew my drinks completely subconsciously. What? Explain that. Like a I coke. Just... Or something? Oh, How would yeah, you if I just that? take a drink of soda, I'll just like chew it without even realizing. Oh, it. that's and a tism. It's, it's, it's absolutely <laughs> a tism. I'm not, not even, not even. Oh, fascinating. Oh, fascinating. Oh, I have one embarrassing story I have to sell, just really quick. Okay. F- okay. Fucking, okay. Okay. I got called autistic one time on the internet. Mm. And, and you ran away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was like, you know what? That just. That just has to be true. That just has to be. I need to know if that is true. There's probably some random person I got called autistic. And so I begged my mom to let me take an autism test. And so she took me to a therapist so I could take Aww. an autism test to see if I was autistic. And I took it and I wasn't. And I was like, this is not true. This is fake. I have to be autistic. I am autistic. <laughs> so I so, so I was like, the, I, I told the therapist, like, there must be something wrong here. I am autistic. I know it. I can feel it. And she's like, no. I can you, feel like, it. Like, you, you, like, you aren't. <laughs> And then she was like, well, okay, like, like, are you ready to do therapy now? Like, that, that's what you signed up for. Like, you want to get an autism test. I, I can help you alleviate whatever pain you have. And I was like, no, no, I don't care about your services. I don't care about chemotherapy. I just want to know if I was autistic or not. And I still believe that I am. So goodbye, you're worthless to me. You didn't give me the validation I needed. And that's Excellent. Uh, yeah, excellent. <laughs> sounds, sounds like a lot was learned that day. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change things up a little bit. I'm sorry, editor. Uh, this will require a little bit of extra work. I just this image has to be put on screen. This is this is a hashtag Ask PCP from the Twitter, and uh, it's simply this. It's simply this. Oh God, what did I? I pasted the wrong chat. Whoops. Sorry. Hang on. Shit. Oh my. Right God. here. Here. There. What? <laughs> it's going on here. Is, this, it, is that Jaden Smith in the middle? Is yeah, that I who that so. is? Who is that no, on the right? Wait, wait, wait. Is, is no, that, that's not is Jaden that, Smith. Is, is that Ted Cruz on the left? <laughs> oh, by the way, this is from <laughs> at Pro Masticators. Hey, guys, what's going on? I, yeah. I, I have no idea who the, to the two right people are. I've, 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 uh, but I know. Wait, I'm no, that's the kid from High School ride. Musical. I'm that's not tall enough kid. to ride this meme. Oh. That's the High School Musical kid, but I don't know who the kid on the right is. Is this implying that Davu is so white that he... It, that he deletes the blackness. Of the <laughs> well, the black. there's a there's a middle it. ground. There's a middle ground, I guess. Um, <laughs> this picture of Davu looks like a creepy pasta thumbnail. <laughs> it does. This looks this looks like like ep- like like a Jeff the Killer episode seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, uh, that that's it. That's it. That, our, our answer <laughs> to that is yes. A good job. Yeah. For sure. Let, uh, uh, okay. Here we go. Uh, Once Par asks, "Who was your favorite musician when you were 12? I know that I loved Queen intensely when I was around twelve. I As think. Defined by by your your talent show. Indeed, uh, accurate. Uh, uh, because I didn't like know any bands mm-hmm. except the ones my dad said. Right, I just right. said I liked the Beatles the whole time. Yeah, because yeah. you know those are good, and I didn't really know how to look at music myself. They can't <laughs> even drop the fucking bass. Ringo doesn't even know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> It took Skrillex to innovate that into the music yeah, sphere. Thank God yeah. for that. That was the dude, beginning of real music. Dude, can someone please make a dubstep remix of Beatles songs, please? Like, like, just like, like, like dubstep remix the entirety of the Beatles discography for me, please. I, I, I need that. That's your homework for tonight. Somebody's probably doing that. Uh, from the patron lounge, Vamp mm. the Vampire. For the Draw Boys, what's mm. the best way for a very beginner level artist to develop their school? Their, their schools. <laughs> uh, also, what drawing tablet do you guys recommend? Here's a fucking bombshell I'm gonna drop for you. Uh, the kind of tablet you get does not matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Don't. It, it totally do, doesn't. Like, yeah. It, it, it does. Get like, whatever like, you can afford. It, yeah, yeah. If you want to get some tink shirt, whatever, does not matter. Uh, I, I will probably use this Wacom tablet to the day I fucking die. I, I used a Wacom same... bamboo for like seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I had, the, I had an old Wacom bamboo that I used from like 2007 to like literally when I started Real Pixels. That was the one tablet yeah. I had. And it was yeah, sponsored by Wacom, the PCP. <laughs> there you go. Please. Um, I will. Say, I will say, if you're using a brand that's not Wacom, you. They tend to have compatibility issues with open source and free programs. Yeah. So if you're using like Krita or Gimp or whatever, you probably want to get a Wacom. They work better with that. <laughs> you're gonna want to install Gen two. Get 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 Wacom. <laughs> Don't do the other weird shit. They aren't good. unless Don't unless you're it. buying them through my Amazon affiliate links. Then go <laughs> all the alternatives, please. Um, in terms of getting better, I'm just straight up do gesture drawing. If you want to get yeah. better at drawing figures, just do like 
five, then three, uh, then one minute uh, gesture drawings. I, I, I will recommend the tried and true classic uh, Andrew Loomis books, Fun with a Pencil. And I, I yeah. what the other one's called. I think it's, I think it's just called Gesture Drawing. And Andrew, Andrew Loomis is Loomis's, good. Yeah. I yeah. recommend... <laughs> I recommend just um, just uh, just draw just draw something and don't stop until it looks yeah. good. Ex- ex- like yeah. just go in there and go nuts with your fucking with your pencil tool, your pen tool, and it just it just keep d- going and control Zing as much as you want until you get with going with the eraser and just like keep going and don't stop until it feels right and don't might, be afraid you know, to use references as yeah. someone who yeah. doesn't like know how to draw years, and i'm oh, definitely yeah. 10 times worse at drawing than i would be if i'd use references from the start as someone who doesn't know how to draw at all i feel like i gained at least a general understanding uh by just watching a little bit of, of streams specifically ben's streams the one i've seen and uh, at least that i mean i don't know it gives you sort of an idea of something you could like try so uh, hey man I, I know nothing about any, any of this shit but that I, seems like oh, a good well, place to start i should stream more drawing Mm. I, mm. I I actually might not recommend that. I mean, really? I mean that, that? that's, that's valid if you want. But the mm-hmm. thing with us is that we are do stylized drawings, which is nice mm. and all. Mm. But please take it from me, who finds it very hard to once they've started drawing, go back and learn anatomy. Learn anatomy, please. Yeah, do that, God. Don't learn do anatomy. what I did. Yeah. Don't like yeah. even if you want to draw cartoons. Well, like the thing, the thing that I confused you, you, a lot you, is you, that. You, mm-hmm. The different there's a difference between because like my reason that I never learned anatomy as a kid and I still haven't mastered it now even though I've tried mm-hmm. is that I m- misunderstood drawing from life as drawing realistically and I was not interested in all in drawing exactly. photorealistically and sitting mm-hmm. there and drawing mm-hmm. like a pencil study for like seven hours you can sketch from life and draw like something really loose and not that detailed while looking at something real that'll help yeah. you understand the form better exactly exactly there's a huge difference so like even when i do i say do gesture drawing i don't mean like sit there and spend 12 hours rendering like exactly. hair on the leg yeah just just like look at it so you can understand how the body works and everything and just like learn about the line of action the, the, in the, the beginning that's le- really le- helpful too. St- i mean learn about the line of action and learn about anatomy and stuff but don't don't get bogged down in it either like learn it and be like okay now to to put it into practice and then just go yeah. draw yeah. Mm. and then, yeah. and then after some drawing you can come back to it and be like maybe i didn't pick maybe i can should should figure this out better than i did uh, don't get don't get bogged down in study Obviously, the best way to draw is to draw. But I'm just saying, as a basic, like, Andrew Loomis is fun with a pencil. That's good, because that teaches you the building blocks of how to construct a figure. Please, but but like, take, just take it from me. Learn fundamentals. They are important. Even if you want to draw Steven Universe tier bullshit, it helps to have fundamentals so you can understand <laughs> uh, 3D space and things such as that. So please... Not not fundam- everyone's Ben Saint who can get a science degree and just be like, I'm just going to draw now. And then, like, a month later, he's a god. <laughs> so, like, mo- most oh, people have to actually try... Yeah. So, uh, yeah, l- sucks l- for them, I guess. If you want, if you want to be good at drawing, uh, draw and quarter yourself because it's not worth doing. It's a waste mm-hmm. of fucking time. It's mm-hmm. some bullshit, and uh, you should feel bad if that's yeah. what you do with your it, life. It, <laughs> it, true. It, it, true. It, 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 in, in conclusion, <laughs> learn fundamentals uh, and 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 learn shit. Learn shit. Drawing is shit. It's all bad. Get rid of it. And it's not good. Except I really like it. I like draw. It's really fun. Don't let anyone yeah. tell you that it's not fun. But it is for cowards. Yeah. Yo. It, it is the coward's way out. <laughs> it's the kids the coward's way out. Yeah. Speaking yeah, of no. the coward's way out, we have a, a wonderful question from Avada Akbar. It's time to weigh in on this. The official stance of the PCP. If you had to choose which one, which would it be? Israel or Palestine? All oh, right, let's no. get it. Who's going to obliterate Not one again. and save the other? Um, I'm going to go with Palestine because they're funny, uh, silly boys over there, and uh, I enjoy watching them uh, be hilarious. So which I'm going ones with are Palestine. the good ones? Uh, <laughs> I want to pick the good guys. Oh, I want to no. pick the good guys. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> Tell like... me who's the good guys, and I'll pick them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the real heroes are the the. Uh, I got nothing. The friends I, we I, made I know, along the way. The the real Palestine was the friends we made along the way. Well, 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 well it just depends. Do you pick a uh, Wonder Woman or do you pick her opposition? Good, <laughs> good, good question. Good question. By the way, by the way, the objective sure. answer is Israel because that has Jerry Seinfeld in their military recently. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> This is true. Jerry Seinfeld went to a a, a, a military what? tourism camp to learn how to fight uh, Palestinian terrorists <laughs> Are you in fucking Israel. Kidding me? Yeah, he went with his family. 
Well, let me just tell you, uh, we don't even need to choose because Palestine's going to be wiped off the fucking map yeah, in like yeah. any fucking day now with, yeah, yeah. with, with Jerry on the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the pacha is, is like a bomb going over there. Yeah, like the, the, bombs, the bomb just goes off. It's yeah. like, doom, 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 doom. oh my god. He's like, wow. no, it's like they're marching and he's like playing the trumpet instead of the. It's boom, 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 Dude, but like, uh, uh, Jerry's gonna get to the front lines and across the battlefield, leading the Israel, the, the Palestinian forces, will be George fucking Costanza. George, what are you doing over there? I don't know. I just, there was a hot slut I wanted to fuck Jerry and now I'm wrapped up in this madness he, he, he oh. outmaneuvers his opponents by using his vast speed as seen in the race <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> he, he, the way he beats the pestilence is like he gets a head start that no one notices and he gets Indeed. the battle quicker than anyone else does yeah yeah <laughs> uh, excellent well that's settles it everybody uh favorite dead oh wait actually you know what that's a terrible question um um, I don't know. Uh, they're, these are all bad. Uh, 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 Avad Akbar also asked, "Do you know the way?" Hey, meme. Get it? Get it? Uganda. No. Nope. Nope. Uganda knuckle. Okay, whatever. Uh, that's it. No, no more good questions. I think they're all good. They're, I mean, bad. Uh, they're all bad. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yes. Okay, that's it, everybody. All right. Thank they should, you. They should all feel embarrassed, right? Oh, no, absolutely. There you go. That's what we're implying. Correct. Here. Correct. Step it up, everybody. As always. All right. Uh, so, Patron Lounge, thank you for the questions. Mm -hmm. Patreon.com slash the procrastinators. One dollar or more, and you can get to the fucking Patron Lounge and shit, and you can hang out with us. Five dollars or more on the Patreon, and you get our bonus episodes. There are ten. Yeah, there will be ten. And the next one coming out is going to be a bombshell. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rock the foundations of this weak capitalist economy of which we, 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 we tread upon like grains of sand in the desert. Uh, and it's going to be a nightmare. So, yeah, get ready for that shit. Five dollars. Uh, are are, are Five we dollars. allowed to spoil what the topic is? Let's, to, to, not to yet. Not, oh, let's oh, do it okay, next time. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's sure. oh man, God, we're so it's, excited it's, about it's, it. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna be a fucking heart clincher. Are, <laughs> you're not even gonna be, like like once once you read the title, you're gonna be like glued to your fucking screen for the rest it's of the true. day. I guarantee it's so you. true. <laughs> it's fucking uh, insane. We got we got some some merch, uh, red bubble stuff. Click the link down there. It's 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 cool. It's lit, as the kids say. Uh, it's good. Uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, uh, the iTunes and the Google Play Music Store. Thomas so graciously got the PCP episodes up there, so you can listen to them all there. And I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Uh, so for now, thanks for listening, everybody. We will see you next week with some more dank memes. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. So Bye. long. Goodbye. Good yeah. Yeah. Good Stop. boy. Uh, I'm supposed to be working right now I'm supposed to be